So I'm just going to muck this shed out. I'm going to get the Merlot rid down the yard. Oh no, I'm not. I'm going to put it in there. Um, and then I'll show you. I'll just muck the shed out because it needs finishing. Very much finishing. Um, it's been a while. As the shed was um, left, it was part mucked out. Sorry, I'm moving very fast, aren't I? Uh, this is as the shed was left. It was part mucked out. Obviously, we do pressure wash everything, as you know. Um, and it was done. It was pressure washed just before lambing. It was pressure washed last year before the cows came in. Cows were in here, which was fine. Um, and then it was pressure washed before lambing. And then I'll pressure wash it now. Um, just to keep everything clean, tidy. But this is just what's left in here. So I'll use the Bobcat, not the Merlot. Still love the Bobcat. Um, oh yeah, and I need to muck these pens out as well. They're a pain to do with all them gates, but I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you. Move the Merlot into there and start tidying up. Random vet's glove lying in the middle of the yard, that gate's fallen over. It just gets on top of you all of a sudden and you just find you no motivation to do anything. Bobcat, does anybody know? I don't actually know where it is. It's quite a big thing to lose. I've lost a bobcat, but I have. Here we are, I have lost it. Just brought the box bed around. Um, might as well take it out um, as tip it in the mid and down there, to be honest. So. This is the waste heap from the concrete yard. It's all the washings out, out of the wagon, um, wagons. And it's also um, like when they've, someone's ordered too much and they take a bit back. Obviously concrete's one of them things that you can't mess around with and you can't reuse it, um, obviously to sell to another customer. So they have a large waste heap. Um, and we are a hole for that waste heap. Handy for them, very handy for us. Um, if you were to buy the equivalent fill um, to fill up these sheds that we're building, it would cost a small fortune. In fact, it wouldn't even cost a small fortune. It cost a large fortune. So we're really lucky um, that we've got the opportunity to be able to take this from them. Help that you are their next door neighbours. Maybe a bit dramatic.
him tip his wagon. Is that what boys on YouTube like? <sighs> they don't hurry up, do they? by it's not like perfect kind of fill it's like some of it's massive rocks some of it's like sludgy sandy stuff it's not a consistent um like i'm not quite sure they could sell it to anyone man they probably could to be fair the price of concrete couldn't they back to it back to it mucking out time lapse camera's been on i've been absent for ages what a waste of memory julia walking around in here i said it's a funny feeling it definitely is very peculiar we're nearly there. No, we're nearly there, seriously. Stop it. Glass half empty. Charlotte's in the bad books. <laughs> I can't even deny it because I videoed it. Um, he's tipped in the wrong place. He was meant to tip that off there. Don't need your input. So um, ideally we wanted to tip down here, but because of the gradient of the roof and how low it is at the sides, um, the wagon really couldn't tip very well. So we've got to tip it here and then it'll just be to move over again. But luckily we enjoy Bobcats. So someone the other day asked me what this is. It is next to the silage pit. Hold on, let me turn you around. So obviously the silage pit is here. It runs along here. Second cut's here that we're biting into. First cut from this year's here. And then on the side, we have this. Now, if you were so interested, um, there's actually a very comprehensive video of the concrete shuttering being done here. Um, we reuse these from the garage, um, we used to, well, Roy's dad uh, used to have a garage in a local town and when it was um, taken down very delicately and rebuilt into a co-op shop, um, we reused this. This is Ford Blue from over the years. <laughs> um, so yeah, we wanted to reuse these girders and we have purposely, apparently, left it so that these do not line up with these because Roy said he will just be tempted to put a roof on and it does not need a roof so this was for things like uh, beet obviously right now it's been used for sand um it was just we could put a bit of whole crop in it it could have you know i don't know a bit of whatever whatever it could have anything in 
or if we were absolutely desperate you could do a, like a little outside silage pit it has actually turned out to be very handy um, as a children's play area if i'm honest i do have um a wire brush and some red paint don't remind roy because they'll be wanting to get me painting them to match everything else not that it really matters because there's still concrete all over these it's a work in progress guys it's a work in progress it doesn't have to take the paint off does it concrete so this is the finest stuff um used for like grading in that stuff there's more like bottom fill i'll show you the difference So we've got two loads of this due to come. And this is basically just for putting over the top to make it nice and smooth and straight. Can you see on the side of here it says Thames M A T E R I A A I M M. Can anyone tell what that says? Thames Mirinal? No, mat maternal material. Oh, obviously, Thames material. I often think this is going to be Ollie's um, Range Rover when he sends it back after having all them stickers on from the bloody tractor run. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I really appreciate you. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow, actually, um, when I have a special video about um, <laughs> me going to London. I can finally tell you the details of why I was there and show you the behind-the-scenes footage. And my podcast will also be finally out tomorrow so i'll be putting a link underneath my video um uh, which is super exciting for me massive massive thing massive thing um so i hope you can all join me for that